there anything else you want to say to all the fans out there and the listeners of On the Ropes Boxing Radio? Well, what I want to let the fans know, the people who are always asking about Floyd fighting Pacquiao, Floyd fighting Pacquiao. For those who don't know, I'm going to clue you in on something, and you're going to be able to understand what I'm telling you to this day. Anytime a guy who's supposed to be a fighter, all fighters, all fighters, not Floyd, not Pacquiao, not De La Hoya, not Shigway Lennon, all fighters take tests, blood tests, urine tests, in the physical. All fighters take that. The reason why they take those tests is to make sure, number one, you're healthy. Number two, that you ain't got nothing illegally in your body. So that when you fight somebody, that you don't have nothing illegally. To most people, they think, oh, why don't Floyd fight Pacquiao? Oh, he's getting $100 million. It ain't about the $100 million. It's about what's fair. If Floyd would Pacquiao ass, it won't be because Floyd got steroids in him. Floyd got something illegally in him. He already whipped Delahoy. He already whooped Shane Moe. He already whooped Ricky Hat. So it ain't going to be about what Floyd ain't got in him. The bottom line is, it ain't, you don't ask Floyd that to take a test. The only person who needs to take a test is Pacquiao. He's the one who got the shit in him. So if he take that test and he come up with nothing in him, he going to get his ass whooped too. That's all to it. That's the end of the story. It ain't about what Floyd going to do. Floyd ain't never been did nothing legal yet. He ain't had nothing legal in his body yet. So why do we need to take something legal now? The bottom line, if Pacquiao take that test, he's been knocked out twice at 105 pounds. So you know what he'll get at 147 pounds. 